Well, hello, and welcome back to another edition of From the Vaults of the Beaumere Center. My name is Daniel Truckee. I'm the director of the Beaumere Upper Peninsula Heritage Center. And today in this episode of From the Vaults, we feature this wonderful travel trunk that tells the story of an immigrant family to the Upper Peninsula and how its descendants would make their mark on the history and culture of the region. And that family is the Volker family. Nicholas Volker brought this trunk with him when he immigrated to the United States in 1854. And it came to our collection through his grandson, the author, judge, and legendary fly fisherman, John D. Volker, who actually used it himself because we can see his name on the tag. So it was actually a steamer trunk that he used. And I'll just open it up so you can look on the inside here. Nicholas Volker left his birthplace of Afelder, Prussia, now in Germany in 1845, and he came directly to Copper Harbor in the Upper Peninsula. Though his motive for emigration is not known, for like many, it was probably the prosperous mining opportunities that were found there that brought him to the UP. After working for a time in the mines, he married his wife Catherine, also a native of Prussia, and brought her back to Copper Harbor. Nicholas was attributed to being one of the first Germans to begin brewing beer here in the UP. After working in the mines, being a county alderman, and running a hotel and meat market in Eagle Harbor, the Volker family moved to Sault Ste. Marie where Nicholas operated another meat market. On August 18, 1852, Nicholas became a citizen of the United States of America and then moved his family again in 1857 to Ontonagon where they operated a butcher shop and Nicholas opened his first brewery. They also ran a boarding house and even hosted Bishop Barriga at one time. In the mid-1860s, another move was made, this time to Nagani. In 1869, Nicholas and Mr. Eddy started the Peninsula Brewing Company on Gold Street in Nagani and sold it a year later to George C. Sheldon. As with his other town's residents, he operated a butcher shop in Nagani. He then moved that same year to Ishpeming, and then from 1871 to 1873, the Volkers relocated to Salt Lake City, Utah, where Nicholas could work in the mines. After that, he returned to Ishpeming, where they opened a wholesale beer operation on what was known as the Volker Block. Nicholas Volker died in 1891 due to Bright's disease, and Catherine Volker died in 1905. George Volker, the second son of Nicholas and Catherine Volker, was born on July 20, 1860. George lived in his hometown of Ishpeming and ran a mercantile and tavern, in addition to having rental properties and investments in mining and spirits. After meeting the new music teacher for Ishpeming schools, Annie Traver, she and George were married on June 24, 1895. George and his second wife had three sons, Robert, Paul, and John D. Annie made George promise that he would give up operating the tavern to, pr to protect her respectable reputation as a teacher, and which he did for a time. However, he returned to operating his saloon not long after, and his tavern was famous for having the longest bar and the most stools in the Upper Peninsula. After the death of his father, John D. Volker and his siblings inherited the business operations of their father and grandfather, as well as the rental buildings of the Volker block and family farm, which was situated on a swampy farmland. George's youngest son, John, would go on to attend Northern State Normal School, which is now Northern Michigan University, where he received his teaching certificate in 1924. He then went on to the University of Michigan Law School. He later became the prosecuting attorney for Marquette County and then a private lawyer in the 1950s. It was during this time that he successfully defended Maurice Chenoweth for murdering a man who had raped his wife a case that would become the basis of his most famous book, Anatomy of a Murder. In 1956, he was appointed to the Michigan Supreme Court by Governor G. Menon Williams, but left in 1960 to further pursue his writing career. John Volker's books and stories were highly influenced by his family and their stories. His mother always encouraged his writing, and he wrote his first story, Lost in a Swamp All Night with a Bear, at age 12. His pen name, Robert Traver, is a combination of two family names. Robert is the name of his older brother who died of pneumonia and pleurisy four months after returning from World War I. Traver was the maiden name of his mother, Annie. In 1958, Volker's life changed when his novel, Anatomy of a Murder, became a New York Times bestseller and was made into a feature film. 
the following year. During the 1990s, John Volker's papers and much of his personal belongings were donated to NMU. There is a display of some of those items at the Superior Dome. In addition, all of his papers are available for research at the Central and NMU archives in Hardin Hall. And most of his artifacts are also in storage here at the Beaumere Center, like this wonderful trunk. So thank you for joining us for another edition of From the Vaults, and we'll be back next week with something really cool.